Sure, we noticed the uh, little quiet out of practice today, and Andy uh, was just telling us, you know, that they're trying to get you guys to create your own momentum. Uh, how, how, I mean, is that a different feeling out there for a uh, practice today without any of that stuff? Uh, well, kind of for me, I kind of always feel like, you know, trying to make plays and stuff after you get the ball and stuff. But I think that's what we're just trying to make. So we can try to get home, hit home runs, you know. We kind of had a lot of catches and then get going down rather than catches and making stuff happen. So that's what they're just trying to stress at practice now. Going back on the road, and we've talked about you know some of the road struggles the last couple of years, and I know we keep asking about it, but uh, how do you kind of get that turned around? I mean, it's all it's all come back down to focus. I feel like just even last week that team came out, they were focused, they knew what they wanted, we knew what we wanted, but I mean they came out, they fought hard in that, so we just got to we got to get on it. Seems like Coach Harson he said he's going to emphasize that more this week. I mean, have the coaches been talking more about that? Yeah, focus is one of the things that we're trying to trying to focus and finishing. So. We're trying to do those two things. What about a quick start, too? It seems like you guys maybe got in a hole against Air Force, and sometimes on the road you get in a hole and it's hard to come back. Well, I mean, it was more than just a slow start. I feel like <laughs> it was more over the whole game. So, I mean, that was, really wasn't the focus. We were just trying to focus on we're trying to focus on focusing and then finishing. How yeah, about the these were your, uh, your, your touchdown catch in the fourth quarter? First time you got in the end zone this year, fourth down. And at that point, time was pretty much do or die, too. Yeah, uh, this is a big play. I mean, Every time I get the ball, I'm trying to score, but it finally went my way for the first time <laughs> this year. So it felt good to make the play. So did you get in the end zone? It did. <laughs> well, 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 yeah, it's been a few games, right? It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, first day back, you know, real practice with, with, with Grant back out there. Uh, what would what, you see out of him today and sort of his, his attitude bouncing back from last week? Uh, just not even Grant. I felt like the team. As, this has been one of our. I think this is one of our better pra- Tuesday practices we've had in probably about three or four weeks. So, I feel really good going into this week from the start right now. Uh, Thomas Spurbeck stepped up really big the other day. You guys have been talking about him for months around here. What, you know, it's kind, kind of cool to see him go out there and, and show it to everybody else. Yeah, I mean, we said it. I said it in fall camp. He's one of those guys that can play any of the positions, and he's and he's really good. And I said. Like we already knew he was one of the guys already. So when Matt went down, his number got called and he stepped up and made play. What do you think of his catch? <laughs> I asked him about it. He just he just said he put his hands out. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know. I think it was awesome though. So so his catch, Dante's the week before. Who, whose was the better catch? No, I'm going to have to go with Thomas's. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't looking at the ball. So <laughs> I'm going to go with Thomas's. With, uh, you know, Talk about a kid that hasn't played like a ton of snaps, and he, and he steps in for Matt Miller, who's the whole home all-time receptions leader here at Boise uh, State. Uh, a lot of times I call Thomas Young. I call him Matt Junior because he <laughs> reminds me just like Matt. He he's he got great ball skills, and he might not be one of the fastest, but he can make plays. So I call him Matt Junior all the time. So I feel like that's he went out there and did exactly what I thought he would do. Mm-hmm. What would expect him Saturday? Just you know, going on the road, another night game. Uh, Obviously, their fans love you guys. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you expecting just that atmosphere in that crowd? Um, it's going to be a very hostile atmosphere. So I think we need to try to create some of that hostile environment in practice, you know, like with noise and that kind of stuff. But I think we should be all right. If we just keep building off what we did today in practice, I think we should be fine. What do you remember from your, your first trip down there? It was pretty intense. <laughs> I didn't, I've never seen anything like that. They really hate us. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> they really do. People told me, but I didn't really believe it. They really do. So, you know, we just got to keep our mind focused on in between the lines and not what's going on outside of it. Boise State doesn't sort of have that natural rival that it used to have with Idaho. In your guys' locker room, is there a rival? Is there a school that you got, a team you guys really look at? Is that's the team we got to beat every year? I don't know if it's just one team because, yeah. you know, just from being here, we've created more rivals like with San Diego State and Fresno. But I know for a while it's been Nevada. So, and we know they really just don't like us. So, <laughs> I guess that you can say that's one of our rivals. I know you guys have talked about turnovers a lot, but I mean, if you, if you kind of go back and you look at these games and you guys take away your turnovers, if you guys aren't, under, I mean, you, you guys would be in every game that you've lost, let's just say that, I suppose. I mean, how, how, how can you possibly emphasize it more than you guys already have? I mean, he tells us it every week from, from day one. If you win the turnover battle, you win the game. And every game we win the turnover battle, we win the game. So we just got to not turn the ball over. Ball security. Uh, anything, everything, just no turnovers. We just have, everybody has to do their part. I feel like everybody does their job, then we'll win this game. Jim McCoe, 